lives and expires, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Well, perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but you. He's simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist! Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories, and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otzoberg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starrick has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starrick's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh, splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. And what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. 
I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. You must understand I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick bought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the killing type. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner and Starrick. I have worked like a trooper to make Atway Transport what it is today. That's one of Milner's. I can't lose another bus! Yeah! Malcolm Milner, Starrick's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the Outway Depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it. Jacob. Primed and ready.
How's that for a twist? I can see Milner's stock price plummeting already. You're hired. Oh, I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall reveal the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Like that. Mr. Fry, I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be devastated. Hmm. I need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway. Want, Fry. What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. Give him help.
this one. Internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> it's like gazing into the future. And what is the going rate for the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? You'd be paid all the same. <laughs> Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? She's a business partner. That's all you need to know. Didn't make it too, laddie da. Slap some gold leaf here and there. I gave the wood a splash of shellac. I've holstered the lot. And how do you like the lampshades? A letter for me. Jacob, darling, do join me. To our fruitful partnership. And to the shiny new engines now in my possession. Back to business. Milner's fled to the Thames, occupied with securing his ferry. It's all he has left. Hmm, protected it with his life, no doubt. The very thing I want you to take. <laughs> Just kill him. That's not your first glass of champagne, is it? Success is more intoxicating than alcohol, Mr. Fry. Then save a glass for me.
Now, what would it take to draw out Starek's pawn? The sight of his fairies in flames, perhaps. to sink Milner's enterprise.
I knew this day would come. Mr. Starrett was furious I lost the engines. So this is my comeuppance. Pearl Attaway led me to you, not Starrick. And they were gonna gather again. I should never have come between Mr. Starrick and Miss Attaway. Family always stay together in the end. What do you mean, their family? What are you up to now, Pearl? He knew that I belonged to the Order and was there to end me. Imagine my delight when he told me his true purpose. An assassin helping the Templar cause. Isn't that delicious? It's sick. It's business, cousin. Look at the big picture. With Milner gone, I own the only omnibus company left in London. We already have a monopoly on English transportation. The moment your engines power my buses, we will be legends. That was my plan from the start with Milner. You forced my hand with your clever little train robbery. Crawford, I thought a reconciliation was in order. Do you have no happy memories of our childhood? Summers in Midford, you and I, down by the brook. This is a formal meeting, Pearl. Your sentimentality is unbecoming. Unbecoming? <laughs> I've had to hear that odious word dribble from men's lips all my life. Refusing to marry is unbecoming. Refusing to allow a man to conduct my affairs is unbecoming. How unfortunate that I didn't accept your hand in marriage all those years ago. How easy things would be for you now. The omnibuses would be yours by right, and I would be at home, acting as hostess to your guests instead of standing here being so... Unbecoming. It always ends this way with you, Pearl. I wish it were not so. You glower too much, cousin. You will get your engines back. Our new motorized buses will bring us both a lot of money. 
I'll need to arrange proper transport for the engines to get back to my factory. I want you at Waterloo personally to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Of course. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Today and in all of our future endeavors, cousin. Waterloo Station. Doors jammed. Again? Just give it a shove. Stop that trespasser! That's oh, 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 Where are you going? So the hints you found in the Kenway House lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time. Follow me around asking obvious questions. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company. And Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh, yes, Mr. Green. That's a fascinating idea. Oh, please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I do not. Oh, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but... I'm busy protecting the assassins. Are you really? What was it Father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. It'll be ever more pleasant for your absence. Disruption. Too many today live in what are little less than the 
good conditions near open flame, and with few methods of fire control. This looks familiar. It's in the very top. The key to the vault and the shroud. Good day, Miss Fry. I'll take that. You and Shroud to cement your own power. But what if you cannot control it? And why do you want the shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it. How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life, and yet be too afraid to use it. Eternal life? Is that what you think the Shroud offers? What I think is no longer your concern. Coming with. 
with me. I have other plans. <laughs> Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been fallen ill. Our usual tonics aren't working. I came to... <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, Miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed? Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. Thank you. 
Is money more important than your child's health? You sticky fingered moon cow! Someone's keep the bucket. are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Get up! You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. Not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Pablon Ali, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrick keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Well, his company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. 
Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh, dear. We never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right, then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Smash your place up, in we best. You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear shaped. <laughs> What's going on about air and pairs, Bob? Oh, I don't know. I feel rough. Oh, that's disgusting. Go oh. blow me! Oh, kids, huh? Those playful young snakes get everywhere. Me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Whoa! You dropped a no one, Bill. You little sod. Well, I ain't me, Bez. Oh, go blind me, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Right. Tell us where you keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Hey? Well, well. Let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. <laughs> Show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. keep Stalic from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that city? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbours the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No. 
wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. Or vermin at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate a source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected in mind. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Well then! over here. Faster if you can. I see. This is becoming rather perilous to say the least. Deals, Jacob Evie. Thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. But no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> The engine just pulled into Waterloo. Once Stark's men arrive, they're gonna unload the train. Well, not if the train has already left. Assemble a team at Charing Cross. I'll send the engines there for you to recover. Ladies and gentlemen! Oh, 
We will get you into the Central Station very soon. Where the hell is that schedule? Central Station's closed. Attaway's orders. You saw these blueprints, did you not? Were you aware of this floor? It's only a minor weakness, sir. The final wagon's otherwise fortified. <laughs> my trade. Today's your lucky day. Once the order comes through, I'll back you up. Just give me a knock. My colleagues should be here shortly. Do a bit. Won't bite back now, will you? Thank you, lad. Now help me up. Have to run. Someone's bound to find you. Watch your left. Anything of interest? Sack me for sure. Not if I make. First. Such a glaring flaw as well. What a shame. Good partnerships are hard to come by. Ours is most certainly dissolved. 
It's business, Mr. Fry. One does what one must to come out on top. Crawford will not take the news of my death lightly. He can be unpleasant when he's cross. I have sacrificed so much. I don't want to lose my buses. 